Hi, I'm Evan, and this is how I became a Christian. I've grown up in a Christian family. I go to church every week, and I always went to Sunday school and heard stories from the Bible. And I believed them, but I never really knew the true meaning of them or what it meant to be a Christian. I went on my first EMW camp in the summer of 2019, and I enjoyed it, but I still didn't think too much about what I heard. I didn't really take it in in my heart. It wasn't until the summer of 22 that I, 2022 that I went on my next camp, and that's where I became a Christian. This time, I concentrated more during the sermons and took in what was being preached to me. Also, I think being surrounded by other Christians and hearing God's word preached to me every day really helped me to realise that I was a sinner and I needed to be saved, and the only way that could happen was through Jesus. Towards the end of the week, after I went to bed one night, I prayed to God and repented for my sins, and I prayed that he would save a sinner like me. At that moment, I felt a sense of peace in my heart. When we got back, I started baptism classes so I could outwardly show my inward faith in Christ through being baptised. Since then, I have listened and enjoyed sermons more and have been encouraged by them and also by reading the Bible and Christian books. It also helped me to know that I have a saviour who loves me and who I can rely on every day and here's my foundation. Hello, I'm Lewis, as many of you may know, and this is my testimony. So I've been coming to this church since I was born with, with a two and a half year break while we lived away. I was raised in a Christian family, always praying at meals, going to church on Sundays, and all the children's groups on weeknights. I always believed everything I was taught in Sunday school, but I never really thought much about it outside of church. I often found sermons boring while I was younger and would try to keep track of time on my mum's phone so I know roughly when they finished. I just wanted to go home and play. It just never really clicked with me. However, in the summer of 2019, along with Evan, I reluctantly attended a week-long EMW camp with others my age from this church. For those that don't know, it's a Christian camp in Wales where we would stay in a large house and do Bible studies and plenty of games. I had such a strong desire to go that I did everything I could to convince my parents not to take me, even offering to pay them all my money. <laughs> Looking back in hindsight, I was a complete fool. It was the best week of my life. I met plenty of new friends, some of here, whom are here today, had loads of fun playing games and running around the grounds. But most importantly, it's where I was saved. It's as if God was chipping away at me carefully throughout my life with a chisel and mallet, and then on camp he called for the, the wrecking ball. It was Thursday night, I think. We were sitting around the campfire, singing hymns, and as everyone else was leaving, I asked the chaplain if he could sit with me on the grass for a few minutes. He asked me a few questions and we prayed together. I don't remember exactly what the questions were, but I knew at that moment, breaking down in tears, I was saved. I had realized the error of my ways and how sinful I was and the need for me to be saved by Christ dying for me on the cross. We stopped off at a pub up for lunch on the way back. I told my parents about my conversion and they said they had already noticed a change in me just from being in the car with, e with each other for a few hours. Similarly, the youth group leaders said they had also noticed the change later on. I started baptism class classes a few months after camp but these were interrupted by COVID. I guess the spiritual high of camp just sort of faded with all the chaos going on in the world. I then went on another camp, much more willingly this time, and loved it just as much. I redid baptism classes after I got back from camp and was keen to get baptized to publicly show my faith and trust I have in Jesus. I just want to say thank you to all the people that have prayed for me and Evan throughout the many years we have been in this church. We really appreciate it. We're going to pray for them now. Jeremy and Noemi are going to try and navigate their way through without knocking a child into the baptistry. They're going to come and pray for Lewis and Evan. Uh, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you. Um, you are the God who brings light from darkness. Uh, you are the God who brings life from death. And uh, we thank you so much that your son, Jesus, uh, conquered death for us, uh, that he took all our sin, all our shame, everything that we've done wrong, and, and he has paid for it, uh, and he has shown that he has won by coming back to life from the dead. Um, thank you so much for the work that you've done in Lewis and Evan's lives. Thank you that they are new creations, um, they have new life, spiritual life, they're being built together uh, into your family as those living stones on Jesus, the, the true cornerstone. 
Father, thank you so much for their story, um, for how they can testify to all you've done in their life. Uh, and Lord, we want to thank you again for just all the circumstances that you have arranged in their lives. Thank you for their parents um, who have faithfully prayed for them, taught them, um, and modeled to them uh, living, uh, following Christ. Thank you for their wider family. Uh, thank you for uh, all the people in this church who've prayed, uh, for the people in their church in the States as well. Uh, Lord, we want to especially thank you for the camps that they've been on. Um, Lord, we know how much um, those camps have impacted people's lives for the gospel. Um, and Lord, we just give you great thanks that today they're here, um, declaring what you've done in their lives, obeying you, uh, and showing the change that they have been through already by your spirit. Uh, so we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Jeremiah says, But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Lord, we thank you so much because through Jesus we are called to be sons and daughters of the living God. Lord, we praise you for the work that you've done in Lewis and Evan's life, Lord. And as we look forward, Lord, we just pray that they would be like trees planted by the streams of living water, deepening their roots in you. Father, we commit them to you in the months, years ahead, Lord, as they grow in you, Father. Help them to spur each other on in brotherly love. Lord, help us as the church, as the body of believers, brothers and sisters around them, to love them well, Lord, to spur them on in their faith. Father, we pray that they would grow to be mature believers, Lord, mature men of Christ, bearing your image, bearing Christ's image to the world, proclaiming the good news to those around you. Father, we, we praise you for what you've done in their lives, Lord. We pray that you would keep them and and lift them up and fill them up on the mountaintops lord and guard them in the storms and in the darkest valleys lord we pray that in you they would know that they are safe and that they are loved amen, amen. Well, Evan, uh, it's uh, really encouraging to hear your story. Um, personally, it was very encouraging for me um, to get to know you better with the baptism classes, and I know Barney will echo in his time uh, w with you in the youth. It's been great to see you grow in your faith, and it's wonderful you're now, at this point, willing to be baptized. We have one question for you, and that is, uh, do you repent of your sins and trust in the Lord Jesus for your salvation? Yes. Well, on profession of your faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. this end you're a bit taller and well done for taking your glasses off as well um lewis again as with evan it's been a wonderful encouragement with baptism classes and i know barney and others echo that it's been great to see the change that's happened in your life as well um so upon uh well one question for you do you repent of your sins and trust in the lord jesus for your salvation i do well on profession of faith we baptize you in the name of the father and of the son and of the Holy Spirit.